this is our ILTS speaking exam where I'm going to ask first some of the question from part first the first very question is is the city where you are living is crowded or not uh, yes sure it's a very crowded because it's the capital of the Pakistan in Islamabad uh, there are lots of people like uh, they do more uh, works and job opportunities so it's properly crowded right is there a crowded place near where you live? Uh, yes, uh, I'm living in the uh, public place, like in uh, my near, uh, in a few steps of a park, public park. And there have a lots of people, like uh, some of the most is retired people uh, who enjoy the most of sunny weather and do more chess. Play. Do you like crowded places? Uh, in my perception, I don't like crowded places because they have a lots of noise and destruction uh, where you focus on. Do most people like crowded places? Uh, usually, I don't have any idea uh, to other person in if I uh, give advice, uh, crowded places is not probably good because if you focus on the one thing and uh, they distract you. When was the last time you were in a crowded place? A uh, couple of weeks ago, uh, when I visited uh, a food market, uh, where is a lots of uh, where lots of uh, families and uh, pupils come to uh, visit our stalls mm -hmm. and uh, do take some uh, foods and taste it. Going towards Q card here, a minute to be given to you to prepare the topic. And they're supposed to talk on the topic for two minutes. The question is describe a daily routine that you enjoy describe a daily routine that you enjoy what it is where and when you do it who do you or uh, who you do it with explain why you enjoy it We can start. Uh, thank you to give me this opportunity such as interesting question. Um, I am a note uh, properly uh, ma maintain your, my daily routine life. In the past, uh, I have not a routine, but in the current situation, a few months ago, I prepared my exam, arts exam. Uh, so they uh, they uh, they ask. Uh, uh, my arts exam uh, uh, give some uh, attention and uh, consequency and because if you do not practice it so uh, they do not make you feel good and do more uh, advanced level and so I make a daily routine like I'm uh, wake up, woke up in the early in the morning uh, like mm -hmm. five o'clock and take some uh, tea and with, with snacks to do folk uh, uh, for more focus on my study and then uh, I do some reading test and uh, for uh, my daily routine practice and after that I yes I do going to a discussion part right should children have learning routines uh, yes because it is uh, good for uh, their uh, health and uh, for the job purpose what are the advantages of children having a routine at school uh, yes, if he had a, uh, he had uh, routines, uh, they mm -hmm. achieve their goals and make more uh, essential in the paper exams. How do people's routines differ on weekdays and weekends? Uh, like in people in weekends woke up uh, late mm -hmm. at the morning because they know they do not have work and uh, they take rest would do more in the usually weekend stay right what daily routines people have at home uh, if they are a job person they have same daily routine in weekdays uh, job uh, days uh, like woke up early 
and they do some breakfast and after that they go jobs for work right what are the differences in people daily routine at now and 15 years ago uh, if i think 15 years ago uh, daily routine is very punctual uh, like people uh, woke up early at the morning like 3 to 4 pm am and do some prayers and after that they uh, cutting the uh, vegetable of uh, her pets so yes right few a uh, small grammar mistake because of which you got five men otherwise you are getting 5.5 but again again it was happening the first mistake couple of week ago you said in the part one couple of weeks couple, we say like plural couple of months or couple of weeks right like this and second mistake in part two you said i woke up we should say i wake up the first form and then in part three also you said three times woke up woke up woke up so the people wake up on Monday. like if we talk about daily activities routines so this is wake up first present simple tense mm, now these were the minor small few mistakes uh, at the end there was one sentence not grammatical error. so overall because of such grammar mistakes uh, it is better than before compared to before but right now it must be also kept in mind that you should not make any mistake in grammar then you can get it because part one answers you did you perform very well it was up to 5.5 and 6 when and then part two and three grammar mistakes decline it great thank you